You have made it 100 miles to freedom all by yourself. Would you like to pick a new name to mark your freedom? Harriet Tubman. A powerful scene in the movie Harriet now playing in select theaters. You probably know by now that the movie portrays Harriet Tubman's life of fighting for freedom. And that's a life that was spent right here on Delmarva. Dana Patera is the park manager at the Harriet Tubman Underground Railroad State Park. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. We were so excited for this movie to come out. Um, it's based on Harriet Tubman's life, but but there are some differences, aren't there? That is correct. On November 1st, Focus Features premiered the movie Harriet to select theaters, and Cynthia Erivo plays Harriet Ross Tubman. It was co-written and directed by Cassie Lemons. Um, there are some Hollywood moments. I can't imagine the challenges involved with condensing Tubman's monumental life into the length of a movie. Yes. Right. Um, but uh, they really, really brought Tubman's character to life. You can feel her passion, you can relate to the struggles she endured, the, her triumphs, the tragedies, the complex emotions she must have felt when she found freedom, but she was alone, and the gut-wrenching decision to return home to Maryland and rescue friends and family. Hmm. Wow. So now the movie is out, have you seen an uptick in interest? Uh, we have, yeah. and even this fall leading up to the movie, we saw an increase in visitation. Uh, we saw a number of people and a number of media come through the park, and on November 1st, when the movie premiered locally, we saw about a thousand people that weekend. And this past weekend, we saw about a thousand people. So it's exciting that people are seeing the movie and they're becoming inspired to learn more about Harriet Tubman. Yeah, so what do you think it is, uh, people are finding so fascinating about Harriet Tubman's life? Um, I think one of the things that resonates with a lot of people is that she was an ordinary person who did extraordinary things. Uh, she came from the bonds of slavery. She was illiterate in the traditional sense. She suffered from debilitating seizures. Um, yet she made decisions and accomplished things that had a positive impact on the nation. So uh, from, from the people that you run into, uh, what have you seen that has come as most surprising to them? Um, I think, you know, for us, we have a bronze bust of Tubman in the lobby. Right. And it stands at her actual height, which was five feet. Mm. Oh. So she was a very petite woman, yet she was capable of such monumental things. And people are shocked to see that this woman was a mere five feet tall. It's by far the most photographed piece in the visitor oh center. Do you think people understand the significance of her being from Dorchester County? I think so. Um, Tubman's story is one of love. She came back because she loved her family. She fought for freedom. And I think that resonates with people. And when we first opened the center in 2017, our first year, we didn't know what to expect. We had about 100,000 people. To date, we've seen nearly a quarter of a million people from all 50 states, 60 countries around the world. Mm. And I, I think that speaks to the significance. Yeah, and, and visitors can learn all about her at the park. Absolutely. Uh, we focus on Tubman's formative years in Maryland. It's where she learned the skills that allowed her to become a successful conductor on the Underground Railroad. Um, we focus on the Underground Railroad as a resistance movement and the fact that Tubman was a 19th century American hero who is still relevant today. I cannot Incredible. wait to see the movie. I definitely need to see it. Thank you so much. Dana Patera, she's with you. the Harry Tubman Underground Railroad State Park.